Hey everyone, it's Why Not's time. I'm so excited because today we're talking about energy. Energia, this song say energy, I'm ready. Are you ready? Están listos? Kenneth, why are you running up and down the stairs? Well, why not? Por que no? And besides, without energy, nothing would happen. That's right, it takes energy to make things change or move. Necesitamos energía para cambiar o mover cosas. Uh, okay, that was a lot of moving I just did. I need some... Water. Ha, ah, thank you. Now, there are many different forms of energy, and today we're going to talk about three of them. Hablaremos sobre tres tipos de energía. Sound energy, energía sonora. Light energy, energía luminosa. And heat energy, y energía térmica. But let's start with sound energy. Sound energy is a form of energy that we can hear, caused by vibration. La energía sonora se puede escuchar, y es provocada por la vibración. Did you hear the different sounds as Kenneth was running up and down the staircase here at the Pro Museum? We can describe a sound based on its pitch, meaning how high or how low a sound is. We can describe sound based on its loudness too. Loudness is how quiet or loud a sound is. El sonido puede describirse por su tono, o sea que tan alto o bajo es. También puede describirse por su volumen, que tan suave o fuerte es. It all depends on the amount of sound energy. I said it all depends on the amount of sound energy. What's going on? So, you know how we talk about how sound is created by vibration? So I figured, what better way to demonstrate this than create these huge vibrations on these drums? Well, maybe we can start with a quieter example. Vibration is when something moves back and forth really quickly. El sonido se produce por la vibración. La vibración sucede cuando algo se mueve de atrás hacia adelante muy rápido. Okay, everyone. Yeah, you too. Put your hand on your throat and hum. Pongan su mano en su garganta y digan hum. Mm. That feeling is your vocal cords vibrating. Sientan sus cuerdas vocales vibrando. That's amazing. You know, when an object vibrates, it causes the air around it to vibrate too, and that creates sound waves. Cuando un objeto vibra, hace que el aire a su alrededor también vibre. Y eso crea ondas sonoras. When those sound waves reach our ears, it makes our eardrums vibrate. And that's what allows us to hear the sound. Cuando las ondas sonoras llegan a nuestros oídos, nuestros tímpanos también vibran. Y por eso, escuchamos el sonido. So, we've already felt vibrations. But let's see what vibrations look like. Back to the drums. Veamos cómo se ven las vibraciones. My turn. Wait, wait. In order to see the vibration, we're going to need to slow things down. Oh, yes! It's why not slow motion, slow mo time. Hagamoslo despacio. So, we want to see this drum in slow mo. But to help us see the vibrations, we're going to put some colorful powder onto this drum. Okay, why not? Pongamos el color. Let's each put our colors down. Okay, Sofia, go ahead and hit it. Here goes. Okay, that happened really fast. Sí, fue muy rápido. So let's slow it down and watch it in why not slow mo. Despacio. Whoa, I can see the vibrations. And the harder you hit the drum, the bigger the vibrations and the louder the sound. Entre más duro le pegues al tambor, más grande será la vibración. What do you think happens if we hit the drum softly? The softer you hit it, the smaller the vibrations, and the quieter the sound. Entre más suave le pegues al tambor, más pequeña será la vibración. My turn! Drums can have different pitches, too. If the skin is tighter, it vibrates faster and makes a higher pitch sound. If the skin is looser, it vibrates slower and makes a lower pitch sound. Drum solo! Well, guys, that was interesting. Let's talk about how other instruments make vibrations in different ways. Musicians who play string instruments make the strings vibrate by plucking them or by rubbing a bow against them. Los diferentes instrumentos vibran de diferentes formas. Los instrumentos de cuerda hacen vibraciones al pulsarlos o al frotar una cuerda contra ellos. For brass instruments, the player's lips vibrate, and that makes the mouthpiece vibrate, and that makes the air inside the instrument vibrate. Un instrumento de viento metal vibra cuando los labios de quien lo toca vibran. 
Eso hace que vibre la boquilla y entonces el aire dentro del instrumento también vibra. Sounds help us all communicate. Los sonidos nos ayudan a comunicarnos. Animals communicate through sound energy too. Birds sing, frogs croak, and lions roar. Goats scream. Huh? huh? Goats scream. It's really funny. Watch. Well, I guess he's right. When the goat starts screaming, that means it's time to take a break. We'll see you again soon! And the Why Nots are back to talk about two more kinds of energy. Okay, but first, does somebody want to tell me why there's a food truck? That's because it's time for the Why Nots. Light lunch! Light lunch? Almuerzo ligero o almuerzo luminoso? Good question, Sofia. See, the next two types of energy we're going to talk about are thermal energy and light energy. Energia luminosa. Y energia térmica. But first, let's talk a little bit more about what light energy is and why it's so important. And then we're going to talk about thermal energy or heat energy. And our friend Trey Wilcox from Top Chef is going to show us how we can use thermal energy to make a perfect grilled cheese sandwich. Y aprenderemos por qué la energía luminosa y la energía térmica son tan importantes. Light lunch. I love it. And I'm hungry for learning. Okay, why not? So before we get to the lunch, let there be light energy. Energia luminosa. Light energy is a form of energy we can see. We need light to see things. A la energía luminosa la podemos ver, y también la necesitamos para ver las cosas. Objects that make light are called light sources. Can you think of a big source of light? Maybe something in the sky? Los objetos que producen luz se llaman puentes de luz. ¿Pueden pensar en una gran fuente de luz? ¿Quizá algo en el cielo? El sol, the sun. Sí, el sol es la mayor fuente de luz de nuestro planeta. The sun is our planet's main source of light. Other examples of natural light sources can be other stars, fireflies, or lightning. Sí, otras fuentes de luz pueden ser las estrellas, luciérnagas, o relámpagos. Then there are man-made light sources, like a flashlight, lamps, even a TV screen. También hay fuentes de luz creadas por los humanos, como las lámparas. Necesitamos la luz para poder ver. We can only see objects when light shines on them or when they create their own light. So, without light... Uh, Sofia? Jerry? Where'd you go? No veo nada! Kenneth, we're right here. As you can see, increasing or decreasing light energy affects brightness. Whoa, it's really bright. Con luz brillante podemos ver muy bien. With bright light, we can see the details of things. What do you think happens if we decrease the amount of light? When there is less light, it makes things dim. Colors appear darker and it's more difficult to see details. Light energy helps us to see throughout the day, but we also use light to communicate. También usamos la luz para comunicarnos. An ambulance's flashing lights lets us know when there's an emergency and to get out of the way. Las luces intermitentes de una ambulancia nos avisan si hay una emergencia. Traffic lights help keep drivers safe. Green means go, yellow means slow down and use caution, and red means stop. O las luces del semáforo, que nos dicen cuando manejar y cuando parar el coche. Did you know that fireflies even light up in certain patterns to attract mates and to warn away predators? That is cool, but speaking of cool, I think it's time to turn up the heat and discuss heat energy. Ahora hablemos de energía térmica. We have an awesome chef here today to show us how heat helps make food delicious. But first, let's talk about what heat is. ¿Qué es el calor? Heat energy, or thermal energy, is a form of energy we can feel. It causes things to get warmer. La energía térmica hace que las cosas se pongan más calientes. Y la podemos sentir. Can you think of an example of something with a lot of heat energy? ¿Pueden pensar en un ejemplo? Maybe something big? In the sky? That's right! It's the sun! Again. Not only does the sun give off light energy, but it's our main source of heat and warmth. 
Other examples of things that give off heat energy are an oven or a hair dryer. Okay, Kenneth, that's right. Now increasing or decreasing heat energy affects the temperature. Objects with more heat energy are warmer and have a higher temperature, and objects with less heat energy are cooler and have lower temperature. La temperatura cambia por la disminución o aumento de la energía térmica. We can measure temperature using a thermometer. Podemos medir la temperatura con un termómetro. Check this out. The water is about 40 degrees. The grilled cheese sandwich is about 115 degrees. And Kenneth, you're about 98 degrees. Perfectly within the normal range. Yes, normal! It's hard for us to tell how hot or cold something is just by looking at it. Nosotros no podemos ver si algo está caliente. But thermal cameras can sense the heat given off by things and see it. Las cámaras térmicas pueden sentir y ver el calor de las cosas. In a thermal image, the hotter objects appear in a different color than the cooler objects. En una imagen térmica, los objetos calientes se ven diferente que los más fríos. Firefighters can use thermal imaging to see through the smoke or darkness. It can help save a lot of lives. And did you know that pit vipers can detect heat, which they use to find prey? Wow, las víboras de foseta pueden detectar el calor para encontrar a sus presas? Snakes are even more amazing than I thought. Okay, this food looks so good. It's almost time for lunch. I want everyone to meet Chef Trey Wilcox. Hi, why not? Thanks for having me. So excited to share some food tips with you. We're so glad you're here. And we're super excited that you're going to show us how to make our favorite grilled cheese sandwich from Ruthie's Food Truck, the best in Dallas. What a lot of people don't know is that there's actually a lot of science that's involved with cooking. And heat, specifically, it actually can has the ability to change ice into water, turn bread into toast, and it can turn a slice of cheese into melty deliciousness. Must have grilled cheese. <laughs> You want to help me make one? Sure. So we got a hot griddle right here. One of the cool things about heat as well, you see solid butter. And what does it turn into? A liquid. A liquid. So what we use is we use butter and we use bread. So go ahead and put a piece of bread right on top of each one of those pallets of butter, just like that. And now put two pieces of cheese onto each piece of bread. See how that butter just melts? Yes, yeah, that's so cool. When you're making a grilled cheese, you got to have butter, baby. Cheese goes in, top goes on. See how you can do this? like Scottie Pippen and Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you should be talking about the Mavericks, but... <laughs> so all we gotta do now is just let the heat do its thing. It'll actually crisp up the bread and give you that nice buttery deliciousness that you love to have when you have a grilled cheese. ¿Cuál es su platillo favorito para cocinar? What's your favorite dish to cook? Mm, I'd have to say my favorite dish to cook is risotto. Ooh. Risotto is this really deliciousness that's made with arborio rice. Got some really rich, flavorful stock in it, and it's just delicious. What made you want to become a chef? The career kind of chose me, and it's always important that you do what you love. So when I was 19 years old, I was working in a cool restaurant, and I realized this is really what I love to do. That's what I went after. That's pretty cool. All right, so I think our grilled cheese is ready for flipping, so I want you to act like you're turning a doorknob. Just push out and then turn the doorknob. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to quick flip and see what we got. Just like twisting the doorknob. Boom, see what I'm saying? <laughs> so you can hear the texture of it when yeah. she flips it, you know? It was all soft in the beginning and now you hear it. I call dibs on that one. I'm sorry, but that was mine. <laughs> Very nice job. So now you know, energy is everywhere, even with cooking. What other questions y'all got for me? What's your favorite part of your job? Ooh, favorite part, when you make good food and you get to watch people enjoy the foods that you made. You know, when you think you've made something delicious and you serve it to your friends or your family, and they're just all like, mmm, this is so good. It's just probably one of the most rewarding things you can feel. I can't wait to try one. So you called must dibs on which, on which that one? That one, that one right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one right here for you and just break that apart. And that's what we're looking for right there. <laughs> First, it's time for a quick Why Nots pop quiz. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here today with us, Trey, and showing us how to use heat energy to cook. My pleasure, Why Nots. It's been awesome showing you how to make these grilled cheese sandwiches, and I'm gonna enjoy watching y'all enjoy them as well. Yeah, 
Okay. What is energy? Guess I'm not here. Energy is what makes things happen. It changes or moves things. La energía hace que las cosas pasen, cambia o mueve cosas. What is sound energy? ¿Qué es la energía sonora? Sound energy is a form of energy we can hear, caused by vibrations. Se puede oír y es causada por vibraciones. Vibration is when something moves back and forth really quickly. And what is light energy? Light energy is a form of energy we can see. One really big example of a light source is the sun. La energía luminosa se puede ver. And what is heat energy? ¿Qué es la energía térmica? Heat or thermal energy is a form of energy that we can feel. It causes things to get warmer. And an important example of something with heat energy is... The sun. Again, el sol. So big, so bright, so warm. We did it, guys. Thanks so much to our friend Chef Trey from Top Chef for making this melty deliciousness. Se ven buenísimos. And with that, I think it's time to eat because... Why not? Por qué no?